so I'm back for another video and today's video is going to be a cream contour tutorial. I mean I don't do it much but sometimes when I'm going out or something or for special occasions I like to just cream contour. Um, it does, I really like it because I have a really round face and it kind of slims it down a bit and kind of gives structure to your face as well. It's super easy and I will be using some drugstore products and some high end. You can use any products that you like, any concealer, any darker concealer foundation but we'll just jump straight into this video and I hope you guys enjoy it so I'm completely bare faced right now and I'm going to moisturize my skin as always with my Garnier cream oh my hands are got so much black on it so whenever you're putting makeup on you always want to like moisturize your face even if you have oily skin you want to use a moisturizer that's suitable for your skin type I just feel like makeup slides on way much better with moisturiser, especially if you have dry skin because your makeup's going to attach to those dry areas and it's not going to look pretty. <laughs> I am actually filming a makeup tutorial right now, I don't know if I've said it already. It's actually an inspired makeup tutorial and, and the celebrity actually posted a picture on this look lately and I just thought it was really pretty so I wanted to recreate it. So if you can guess, let me know what it, what it is, what you guys think it is in the comments below. But I will be posting the tutorial after this video. So when I personally clean contour, I like to apply my base first, so my foundation. So for today, I'm actually going to be mixing the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. I haven't used this in ages. And the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in 320. This is too dark. If you watched my previous video, you will we'll all know that it's too dark. But I'm going to be mixing it with this one, which is too light. That's why I never use it. So you can use your normal foundation. I just like to change up my foundation every single time. So I'm just going to mix this up in the, on the back of my hand. So I'm just going to blend this all in. I personally like to use my beauty blender, but I just right now I just want to use a brush. Because I haven't used it in ages. You really don't need that much foundation because you will be using cream products on top of it and that's just going to add more coverage. So you really want to stay light with your foundation. My dog is snoring in the background, I hope you can't hear her. So when you're done with your foundation, I like to take a concealer. The one that I've been loving at the moment, well at the moment, is the Naked Skin Concealer. But I've also been um, loving the Maybelline Angel Wine, well Instant Anti-Age Concealer. I recently got this but I just keep using it since I got it and I've been laying off this one because this is a bit more pricey and I'm kind of running out of it. So for today's video I'm going to use the Maybelline one. The applicator is really cool as well so you just want to put this in areas where you want to, you would like to conceal and areas that you want brighter because this is, um, as you can see, it's really bright. So it kind of conceals and it also brightens the areas that I want brighter. Because I have a really small forehead, I like to concentrate a lot on my forehead. A little bit on my chin. And then a really thin line on the nose. Then I like to take a darker concealer. I'm going to use this Makeup Revolution Ultra Cover and Conceal Palette. This is what it looks like. I'm going to use these two darker shades right here and you want to like take a flat brush and then just apply it where you want your face to be carved out. My line is going to be like a triangle like this because I have a really round face. Then for my nose I like to take this pointed pencil brush. And you want to take a very, I'm going to take this shade here for my nose. Just a little bit darker than your skin tone. And I barely contour my nose. Because I'm quite happy with the shape of my nose. And I just feel like it's so much work. But you can get a slimmer nose with contouring. 
So when you want to contour your nose, you don't want to follow the edge of your nose. You want to go a bit further in than the edge of your nose. Because if you follow the line of your nose, you're just going to accentuate your nose, the size of your nose. And then it's just going to make it look bigger, in my opinion. So you want to go a bit in and the line in the middle has to be super thin. So like that. So yeah, that's really what I do. I do take some as well and I just put the tiniest amount around my forehead because I don't really concentrate my forehead because I have such a small forehead anyway, so I just put the tiniest amount like you can barely see it. I then like to take my trusted beauty blender, I have the black one here, you can also use the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge which is really good as well and this is exactly the same as this. And I like to start with the concealer and just blend everything out. You have to work quick with this concealer which is the downside to it. So then I like to take my foundation brush and just like blend the edges. Like so. So you don't have this complete line because I don't want it to go I don't want to blend it too far out so I take my foundation brush and kind of blend the edge so it doesn't look like there's a super harsh line then. If I go into the side of your nose as well because you don't want the concealer to go there either. You can always take your stippling brush. This is why I like to use a stippling brush when I cream contour because it's just so light and it blends everything together seamlessly. I like to go back in with the darker concealer and just go around the forehead again. That's when I think it's like the concealer has gone a bit too far out and I, my forehead just looks like a blank white thing. I just want to blend that in with the concealer. Okay, so when I am done with the concealer, I like to just start with the contour. And I like to use the other end of the beauty blender. size of your nose to be honest with the um, with my nose I'm really not that precise but you can take the pencil brush again and just fix it up and just blend it with that really so you can take your foundation brush and clean under the contour and then to me that's fine I'm then going to take my Ben 9 Banana Powder and just set my under eye with that. And I just like to sweep some on the contour. The reason why I like to sweep it on the contour is that when I'm going to apply my bronzer, it's just going to apply so much easier. And I'm literally putting the tiniest amount on my face because I'm not really a powder person but under my eyes I do pack some on. Trust me, your concealer is not going to crease with this Ben Night Banana Powder. It's so nice, literally. So now the next step that I like to do is bronze up. Well, kind of bronze up and kind of accentuate the line here. So I like to then take my Ultra Contour Palette by Makeup Revolution again and I take this very cool tone brown right here and I just like to take my large stippling brush by MAC and kind of just basically sweep it on the side of the brush not 
basically dabbing it in but just kind of putting some on the side and with that same side I just like to create that line and really um, accentuate your like the, the crease of your cheek oh basically I don't know how to say things sometimes so I just like to create the the depth of the cheek really you can also take your Real Techniques contour brush I like to take that sometimes And then with a large, fluffy, kind of tapered powder brush, I like to take my NYX Matte Bronzer and basically just apply that on top roughly. You don't have to be precise with this. And I really think this step really finishes the contoured look. I like to apply some here because I have a double chin now really like to have that gradient of bronzer and I feel like this makes my face look slimmer. You can also take another a, a small fluffy eyeshadow brush and then take that same cool tone brown um, powder and just basically contour your nose with this and you really have to be light handed with this I feel like. And I really like to concentrate around here. So the last thing that I like to do is set everything in while well, use a makeup spray or makeup setting spray. Um, this really makes everything sink in together and that it doesn't look too powdery because I've used a lot of powder on top. So I like to take my Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, herbs and rose water and I'm just going to spray this all over. I just love the feeling of this, I just it just really finishes a look and makes everything look not cakey or anything, it just makes everything melt together and look really really flawless. So I'm just going to finish the rest of my makeup, well finish off this tutorial and I'll be right back. So there you go, that's how you cream contour, well how I cream contour, there's so many ways to do it, there's no wrong or right way, you can literally use whatever products you want, you can also do it without putting the foundation on first and just using the concealer and contour first and then blending with your foundation which is another good way to do it. Personally this is how I like to cream contour and most of them are drugstore products really apart from the foundation that I used and the um, setting powder that I used but you can use any products like I said. So if you did enjoy this video and found it helpful make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more videos. Leave me any suggestions in the comments below and I love you guys all so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another first impression and review video and it's actually going to be on a foundation and a concealer. Today I will be reviewing